This is Jenkins Governance Meeting. It's the 9th of February, 2022. Thanks for joining us. Uh, topics on the agenda, news. Uh, we tentatively put easy CLA status report. Oleg's not available, so I'm gonna move that off the list for later. And press contact email alias topic. Java 11 or newer, require Java 11 or newer, a JEP discussion for me that's happening and highlights from the mailing list. Any, any other topics that need to be on the list? Okay, then by way of news, uh, we released two security release fixes today, one for LTS, one for weekly. Thanks to the security team, it was a medium security vulnerability in XML serialization. Uh, and the new LTS baseline has been selected. Uh, Tim, our, our release officer, has asked for a release lead volunteer. And so we're looking for that volunteer. And we've got Jenkins is the way stories that we expect will be arriving on Jenkins.io, thanks to Gavin's work. Uh, we've got to do, I've got to still do more review of the pull request. And then we got to negotiate the automated redirects from the old site to Jenkins.io and get get the money saved that we're, that a, a certain sponsor is spending on that site for now. I think uh, I need to hit a doc an office hour, a docs office hour to figure out how to make that a little bit more reviewable because it crashes GitHub browser pages because it's 600 files, including PDFs and zips and stuff. Fair, fair enough. And, and we may want to, we may want to explore it further, but it, it does deploy with the deploy deploy mm -hmm. tool, right? Mm -hmm. So we can, re, we can actually review the site using the view deployment button. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I, I think, I think that's actually already enough. Now, I, I don't know what that means in terms of, I assume that that the reason it crashes is just sheer size of the pull request, not that it's going to make every pull request in the future crash. No, no. Uh, it, the initial creating the pull request because it has every file open uh, killed my, ate my browser up. Uh, the the subsequent loads are fine as long as you don't expand every file. Ah, okay, good. All right, and then special thanks to Gavin for spelling check for submissions to Jenkins.io. Documentation is having correct spelling now. Thank you very very much. It was interesting to see there were. Uh, like most of the stuff in there were minor, minor typos, but there are things like uh, Jira tickets that it right. caught. Um, exactly. I don't know. You may want to put it in the note here. It's it's a program called uh, cargo-ci slash typos. So it's someone wrote a, a little Rust CLI that is uh, code aware. So it's, you know how like a lot of times like Markdown and stuff have usual symbols and the mess of spell checkers. This is a code aware spell checker. So it's, it's pretty slick. It went in and it handled ASCII doc fine. It handled all the formatting fine. Um, it I had to put in a bunch of overrides because of uh, people's names and stuff, but it's improving and I'm pretty happy with it. it. It caught a lot of things pretty nicely, so. Yeah, well, I'm impressed with its, its very low failure rate. The number yeah. of times and it actually has a failure is much lower than I expected. My spell checkers are not nearly as good as it is. Yeah. Excellent. Next topic then, press contact email alias. So Gavin? Yeah, so Mark and I had a bit of a discussion uh, off this. Uh, I'm, I'm one of the, I think one of the, I would say I'm probably the only remaining person on the press contact page. So Jenkins.io slash press that is still an active member of the community. Uh, there are, I mean, there are lots of people who are engaged, like our Tyler is still there. But you know, just not an active member anymore. Um, and so, you know, I think we do want to look for volunteers to be press contacts. Um, but I also think we should remove the individual members on that list. Um, so one solution I was thinking of, and this is really just something we've been, I've been in my back of my brain, is we just set up another Google Groups. We've been using it for everything else. We could set up Jenkins CI Press, link to it there, and people could just contact the Google Groups. Um, I actually kind of want to put it in discourse, uh, discourse or the community site has support for inbound in email. So we could have an, an email that gets automatically posted to a group and, you know, then anyone, we could either, we can move it around. So if it's in the wrong spot, we can move it to something public. Uh, I would say the press email probably should be not open by default, just in case, 
but it doesn't mean we couldn't open up and move them around after the fact. So I, I kind of like discourse for that reason, but I think we should have a longer discussion and actually figure out something a little bit more sustainable than having people's hard-coded emails on a web page. Great, I like that. So is this something that would be okay to discuss in the dev list or in the, I'm not sure where the best place is. Is it advocacy and outreach? Is it community.jenkins.io? The people I know who watch advocacy also watch community. So they'd be, they'd be there. Yeah, I really don't know. This is one of the, the issues I'm having with Jenkins community right now is where to have, not so much where to have discussions, but who should be involved. All right. Right. Uh, it's it's always easy for us to pick one spot and then tell all the other spots that the discussions happening there, but it feels right. dirty. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, I don't think it needs to be solved right now. So I mean, I'm I'll make it clear. I did get a, pr a press contact today, which is why this this came up. But I can deal with it the one today, and we can just look at a future something going forward. Great. And you, you had said that you had received, you'd been contacted a few months ago on a similar topic and you just responded and didn't seem to be a huge issue. So it's not that you're being over, overwhelmed. No, I've gotten, I think I've gotten four emails so far. One would have been that big exploit, I think Confluence. Hmm. Um, and then two companies looking to get more involved at Jenkins. Um, Great. And that's in a year. So it's not a heavy use thing. Great. All right. Excellent. Thanks. Anything else on the press contact email areas? No, I'm good. Okay. Next piece is informational mostly. Um, I, I've opened a Jenkins enhancement proposal pro trying to lay out a plan for the transition so that Jenkins will require Java 11 or newer. So this would be the eventual end of support of Java 8. Uh, comments, review comments are coming in. There's a lot of work that I still need to do to review the open issues related to Java 11. People are certainly welcome to look at the JIRA issue, welcome to comment on that, on that Jenkins enhancement proposal. It is by no means finished. It needs lots of thought and lots of people helping. We should get spell check in the three poll. And that's a good idea. I yeah, I know it was a little bit sarcastic, but it's also like yeah, not, actually, not it's quite a valid comment. Why not? We should we should spell check it. Yeah. All right. And I see Oleg, you've joined us. Did you want to do any give us any update on easy CLA or were there any other topics you wanted to? Well, no updates. I mean, okay. yeah, the ball is on my side. I focused on FOSDOM, uh, then I completely messed up FOSDOM. So now it's probably a time to return to easy CLA again. All right, thank you. Okay, so ongoing. Excellent, thanks. Gavin, we'd usually defer to you for highlights from the mailing list and the community forum. Any topics you'd like to highlight there? Um, nothing specifically from the community forum. Um, there was the new blog post or post, I guess, on the forum about uh, the one that you approved and posted to Twitter yesterday. Do you remember what it was? Uh, the, the vendor. A vendor. Oh, 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 oh so the, are you talking about the tweet from Tesla? Yeah, Mom? they also posted a whole thing on the, on, the, on the community site as well. So, I mean, that's, it was in the show-off group. I always like the show-off group. Oh, I see. Good, right. So, hi, uh, yeah, I see what you're saying. Yes, thank you. Yeah, so very, you know, clear and articulate, which is all everything I am, right? Uh, but otherwise, I don't remember anything major coming up. There's discussion about IE11, which I think was the last meeting. Um, yeah, no, we approved it last meeting. Yeah, so end of support was approved. And I think it's been implemented, right? Implemented in, in weekly. So I think we're, and, and I haven't heard any angst from anybody about it. And then, yeah, I mean, it's the community site has been pretty uh, uh, question heavy this last week, couple of weeks. It, there hasn't been a lot of it. There was, um, 
Yeah. Oh, there was, I guess, Google Summer Code has started. Not necessarily started, started, but, you know, there's office hours. I've seen missing those meeting minutes. Yeah, so the applications uh, open on February 7th. So the deadline for applications is February 21st. Yeah, it's still all project ideas, but uh, yeah, for the record, I'm not sure whether they will be even uh, able to be mentored this year. Mm -hmm. And regarding uh, work admin, I stepped down uh, and uh, yeah, neither original mentors out office house time slot, no, the new one uh, suggested by this so works for me. I still have no idea why it is discussed. So right now I don't feel confident about being a mentor in Jenkins. So neither the Asia schedule nor the Europe schedule work for you? Well, Asia schedule is something insane. I'm not sure how it was discussed. So, well, I understand that uh, if Alisa wants to meet with students in the APAC region, it's probably the best time. But how mm -hmm. Jean-Marc would participate, uh, I'm not sure whether it was discussed with mentors. And yeah, well, uh, the new slot is just not particularly helpful for me because it collides with meetings I have to attend. I see. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So, well, uh, if I was a mentor of a project, uh, we would be able to find another time slot. Uh, but yeah, uh, so uh, let's see. I will, I still want to finish uh, the project ideas and put them on the list. But right now I'm not sure whether it may, really makes sense to apply because there is not enough potential mentors. So there is not enough project ideas uh, listed. So most likely in the current state, Jenkins will not be accepted. Hmm. Interesting, yeah, just, because we've got four or five project ideas and it's not six enough. or... Ah, okay. Well, it's, let's say, by a minimum that uh, is a key for the first year application. Uh, but uh, for other organizations, the expectation is higher. Mm, Jenkins okay. might be accepted, but uh, yeah, right now it's still, let's say, on the lower side, especially when we talk about potential mentors. I know that I'm not particularly helpful there because yeah, I can grumble, but I didn't really contribute as much as I would like to this story. Uh, but uh, yeah, if I just look at the current situation, the guidelines are not updated for 2022. The application is not ready, not sent for review. We don't have enough project ideas. We don't have enough mentors. So currently it seems to be at risk. Yeah, so uh, Alyssa is certainly planning to submit the application draft to the as a pull request uh, by end of this week so that we can review it, discuss it, and then after it's been public for at least several days, then submit it next week, well before the February 21 deadline. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, yeah, the main uh, thing right now would be to actually have more financial mentors listed. Right. Uh, this is uh, the most critical thing from what I see about the project. Good to know, all right. Because if you have uh, more potential mentors in Captain uh, than uh, currently in Jenkins. Mm. Okay. Um, and well, in Captain, we just started one week ago. All right. Yes. Any any other topics or any other any other items from the mailing list or the community forums? Mm -hmm. Nothing comes. So to mind. one item is about CDCon. So. There was a thread, a last message on February 3rd, uh, but my assumption that basically Alisa would be running it, right? Uh, right, so there's a proposal for a proposal for an on-site contributor summit yeah. at, at CDCon, and yeah, Alyssa or others will run it, yeah. Yeah. So one thing uh, for KubeCon, I'm organizing the Captain Community Day. Uh, well, it's to be confirmed, but uh, so far it looks good. And um, if you want to organize a Jenkins happy hour or maybe a small event for those uh, who go to KubeCon, it's something I can help with. 
uh, regarding uh, CDCon, uh, for me, I want to start visa application process next week. Uh, but right now, I'm not confident that I will be even able to get visa for this event. So, okay. I'm not sure. Gary and Mark, are you going? To I plan to be there. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Mark plans to be on site. And I think it's in Austin, Texas. Yes. So, you can say hello to Ryan. Yes, hello. yes, I will. All right. Anything, any other topics there? Not from here. Gavin, anything further from you? Nope. Uh, I have a couple of posts I need to make, but I just haven't got to them yet. Mm -hmm. Great. Then I'd say we call this, this session done. Thanks, everybody. There's no other topics. I'll end and we can go from there. Mm-hmm.